Hello and welcome to the news that is Minecraft and Weekly. I'm David, the guy speaking next will hopefully be Toby, and this week saw the anatomical dinner bone witness a mathematical impossibility, the congenial Mark predict a Twitter possibility, and Notch exhibits a susceptibility to illness from foreign foods. With the next generation of consoles looming over us, it feels like Xbox 360 might have had its day. However, IGN decided to release its top 25 list for the Microsoft console, and for the first time included live titles as well. To this end, Minecraft came out 22nd, which we think might be a bit low given its dominance of the live charts. Let us know where you would have placed it in the comments below. Brace yourselves! The British are coming! The Great British National Mapping Authority Ordnance Survey has done an amazing thing with their data, creating most of Great Britain using their open data technology into Minecraft blocks. This results in a massive 86,000 square mile map, and it consists of over 22 billion blocks, according to BBC News. Using OS maps, it's possible to locate a specific place in Britain and then convert the grid reference into Minecraft coordinates for easy teleportation, enabling users to locate their favourite haunts in block form. The map is 3.6 gigabytes when uncompressed, but if you're able to cope with that, then it's well worth a look. We'll leave all the necessary links in the show more section down below. Here's something we are holding out for, anti-chamber in Minecraft. Yes, that crazy game of puzzles and simple colour palette that had you from the word go, but recreated in Minecraft by modder iTrun with custom everything. It's a genuine struggle to believe it's not the real game, even though it's still in beta. There's a whole lot of images to excite you, and we've linked them down below. Go check them out. Texture packs have long been a requested feature for Minecraft Xbox, and 4J Studios are making a series of them themselves coming soon. However, it's not easy to carry our PC favourites over to the Xbox platform. Minecraft producer Rod stated that they are going to talk to the teams behind our favourite PC texture sets and see if we can sort something out. Unfortunately, he added that they can't promise that anything will come from this, but will keep the community informed as and when we have some news. We're waiting with bated breath, but out of interest, let us know in the comments down below what texture packs would you guys like to see converted for Xbox? Now, there's been a great song flying around the internet recently by a chap called Ilvis, called What Does The Fox Say? It attempts to answer this fundamental question. Well, music and magic maker Fantabulous has whipped up a Minecraft version about everyone's favourite underwater friend, the squid. What does the squid say? It's currently only half of the song, but I have it on good authority that the full song will be out soon, so there's many, many reasons to go and subscribe to him yourself. Mark made a little PSA for us this week, warning users that sometime after Minecraft 1.8 is out, OpenGL support for anything below its version 2.1 will be discontinued, requiring us Minecrafters to have a graphics card which will support OpenGL 2.1 and above. This shouldn't be an issue for most of us, but if it is, you will see a message in your client if you're running Snapshot 13W38B or higher. We'll leave his article linked below. Once you get a Mojang dev started back on weekly snapshots, you just can't stop them. Snapshot 13W39A hit us this week. Comprising mainly of bug fixes, there's nevertheless some funky additions to be found in this unassuming snapshot. Firstly, command block carts for all your moving command block needs. Like command blocks, they're not found in the creative menu, but given with the slash give command. Boats will now not suffer great deaths from lily pads or half block slabs, so make your docks out of those for easy disembarking. Red sand has also been added in the snapshot to go into the Mesa biome. Who knows, maybe we'll see coloured glass in Minecraft pretty soon. Now onto that non-Minecraft bit of the news with a really interesting new blog post appearing on the scroll site all about the future of the game. Where they're going from here, what additions they're planning, all these questions are answered including those about the upcoming judgement mode, new scrolls and a planned spectator mode where you can watch pro players like us <coughs> and take useful hints on how not to play the game. With apparently 40 new scrolls in the offing, this update looks like it'll be huge. And here we are again at the end of another week of news. Thank you so much for watching our stuff. We make these videos for you, and by liking and subscribing you're showing us that you like them, so keep up the good work. If you're interested in us playing some game other than Minecraft, why not click on the left for a video and giveaway about Scribblenauts Unmasked, a DC comic adventure. If you're strictly Minecraft minded, the right link is to last week's news. As always, the subscribe button is clickable, and our Twitters are here if you want to follow our banterful goings on. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next week.